Greetings, it is I, Tantus Snare Van Jacobin, Lord and Emperor of the Jacobin Empire, and welcome. It is time to continue my discussion on Werewolf the Apocalypse in the World of Darkness. We last left off, we've been talking about the statistics of your werewolf characters. Today we're going to handle Gnosis and start willpower. So Gnosis is the connection between your Garu and Gaia. Gnosis is this little piece of Gaia itself, deep within the bosom, within the soul of the Garu. Using it, they have their connections with the spirit world, and it allows them to interact with the spirit world. It is just a little piece of the spirit matter deep within them. Gnosis is the stuff of spirit. Without it, they can't contact the spirit world at all. Those with low Gnosis, it's difficult in order to contact it. With high Gnosis, they have the very ability to blur the lines between reality, our world, and the spirit world itself. Gnosis comes in two forms. The first is your permanent notice, your rating, which comes in a sort of, of dots. This is permanent. There's also your pool. Your poor com pool comes in the form of squares. This is a temporary form of gnosis that you can spend on your various abilities that require gnosis. It will fluctuate up and down, but it will never go higher than your permanent gnosis, than your rating. Now, gnosis can be spent on a variety of things, but it is important to note that you are not able to spend Gnosis or roll Gnosis if you have spent Rage or rolled a Rage check. There is some exceptions that there are certain gifts which allow you to do both, but it's only those gifts that say this. They specifically are mixing Gnosis and Rage. Normally, without one of these special di specialty gifts, they don't mix. No, Gnosis is affected by many things. First off, silver items. For every silver item my werewolf is holding, I lose one Gnosis. Now this Gnosis is from my rating. This will last until I put down the silver weapon and then the next day, silver item, it comes back. So it is still technically a temporary loss of your actual rating, but it is an effect that happens while you're in contact and using silver items. Now, at the storyteller's discretion, if a ally of yours is also using a large amount of silver items, this could also indirectly affect your gnosis too. Should they be taking much more of a hit, having a whole bunch of silver items on them on you, you could possibly still feel it. Now, many gifts will require a gnosis roll or use of gnosis from your pool. Also, if you have a fetish, either binding it to you or activating it oftentimes requires Gnosis. Now, once you have spent Gnosis, you must regain it at some point in time. Well, regaining it, there is a number of ways you can do it. First off, there are certain special rituals, rituals of the hunt, which can occur within a pack, within a cairn. It oftentimes is used to reevaluate, to reaffirm the connection with Gaia within this cairn, that the Garu will hunt down and go after the prey of an angling spirit within the Umbra or within the normal world, and once they capture it and kill it, they basically are reaffirming their connection of needing to hunt down the worm and therefore all those that participated within this hunt will have their gnosis refilled a garu could also petition a spirit in order to have them or give them some of their gnosis to refill their own to do this they must of course be able to communicate with the spirit if they can't speak with the spirit it's not going to give it and oftentimes the spirit that you're petitioning this way will require you to do some kind of quest or favor for it to gain this Gnosis. Now you could also regain Gnosis through meditation. A werewolf that enters a deep meditation, meditating on the facts of the spirit world and the spirits themselves, can attempt to regain Gnosis. They have to spend at least an hour doing this. At least one hour. And after that point in time, however long they have meditated, they may roll a Wits plus Enigma difficulty 8. Every success you have regains a Gnosis. But this is limited. The amount of hours you have spent meditating also is a limiting factor. So if I only spent one hour meditating, 
Regardless of my amount of successes, I can only regain one Gnosis. If I spent five hours meditating, I can regain up to five. I still need to get those five successes on the test, but I could do that. Now, this form of meditation is indeed deep and taxing on you, so it is hard to do more than one time within a week. Every time you attempt to do this after the first day that you spent doing this within the week increases the difficulty to regain Gnosis by 1 to a maximum of 10. So it doesn't take many times, because it starts at a difficulty 8, two more times and it's difficulty 10 to regain Gnosis. Nearly impossible. Still possible, but nearly. Now, also, in between storylines, in between missions, in between quests, you will regain Gnosis. You will roll your Charisma plus Enigmas, difficulty 6, and the number of successes you have will be the amount of, of Gnosis points you will regain to your pool. So you can see that, similar to Rage, how in between, basically, adventures, between storylines, you regain that, you regain Gnosis too. But this one you actually have to check on. So you might not. You could get zero successes on this. Of course, you could get a whole bunch and get a whole bunch of Gnosis back. Now let's move on and start talking about willpower. It is your capacity to overcome rage, to overcome your base desires, to control yourself. It comes in two forms. Just like rage, just like Gnosis, just like your renown, a permanent dot, and a temporary pool. The dot being a circle, the pool being a square. Just like before when we were talking about Gnosis, this goes up and down on your temporary side. The dots, your rating, are permanent. These do not change. Your pool, the squares, can go up and down as you use them on the various things you will need to, never more than your willpower rating. Just like with Gnosis, just like with Rage, you can never have more than your rating. That is the maximum amount of pool you can have. It will fluctuate as you do something extraordinary that may gain you back some willpower, spend it to maintain control of yourself and overcome a rage, or even spend it to do something like gain an extra success on some kind of tax that you're doing. So you can see there are times and purposes that will change and fluctuate your willpower pool. Again, never more than your rating, but it is an important part that will change. If your willpower ever reaches zero, you've drained of your will. You have no desire to do anything. You just feel blasé. You're like, oh, you're drained of it all. You've expended your will. But that's it for today. I introduced you to Gnosis, the Garo's connection to the spiritual world, to Gaia itself, a little essence of Gaia deep within them that allows them to connect and communicate with spirits, to understand and be one with the spirit world to a degree. It is used on, of course, many of their gifts, many of their abilities. Gnosis has a great number of uses, and it is mostly incompatible with the rage you feel, but it can be, very rarely, compatible. I talked about the ways you can regain Gnosis, of course, before we moved on to talking about the very basics of willpower. That which you use to control yourself, to overcome the rage that you may feel, to contain your emotions. Willpower is very important. And the lack of it just makes you... Bleh. In the next episode, we're going to dive deeper into willpower, talking about how you can spend it, how you can regain it. Then we will talk about your health finishing up the important information about your characters. Then hopefully we will start talking about the spirit world. Because we are a bunch of details about the spirit world we're going to have to talk to. Because this in particular as a World of Darkness system, you can have adventures in your normal world, you can have adventures in the spirit world. So unlike certain other World of Darkness ones, like when I was talking about Vampire, where I only had to talk about the real world, I gotta talk about both worlds for this one. Because you can adventure in either. So we will be diving deeper into the spirit world so you know about having, well, quests, adventures, missions within the spirit world. It can happen. But if you have any questions, comments, anything you wanna say, anything you think I left out, please leave in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It's your support for the channel, the Empire, the work I do, 
If you want to show some extra support, you can always check out my Patreon. Link in the description below. There's some great rewards there. It does help to grow and improve the channel. But regardless, until the next time, I bid you farewell.